you guys? This is African Hair God. Uh, just wanted to come on fairly quickly, relatively speaking, of course, and touch on a few random things um, involving hair, uh, natural hair specifically. So, um, you're probably wondering what's going on with my hair. This is a twist out from the last style, the half hawk. I undid the flat twist, didn't like how it looked, so I twisted it up, twisted it out the next day, and this is what I got. Trust me, it looked a lot better earlier today. I just came, woke up from a nap and, you know, my hair is like matted and slept on or whatever. Um, I ain't even tripping because this is going into a puff tomorrow, so it's whatever. Alright, so to get into this video. Um, first thing I want to talk about. A lot of people ask me, um how they can grow their natural hair longer. How can they grow their hair? And I find this very hard to answer. Um, I encounter this question a lot from a lot of people and I really do have a hard time answering it because everybody's hair journey is different. Everybody's hair is different. Um, I can't pinpoint exactly what it is that you could be doing that could be um, inhibiting your hair growth. Um, so, I'm, I mean, the best answer that I can give is to, um, minimize manipulating your hair, like, don't, don't be in your hair so much, don't be doing, rocking, like, 20 different hairstyles in one week, is that even possible? Y'all get what I'm saying. Um, low manipulation is definitely key. Um, also... Paying close attention to moisturizing your hair and sealing in that moisture is definitely key also. You want your to maintain um, a good moisture balance for your hair. You don't want your hair to feel dried out. A lot of people, especially when your hair is shorter, they tend to run away from water because they don't want their hair to shrink or revert back or what, what have you. Um, that's not good because you're depriving your hair of water. Your hair loves water. Water is going to help with the health of your hair. You don't want to deprive it of water. Um, so, um, keep your hair moisturized. Definitely key along with low manipulation. I think a lot of us tend to manipulate our hair too much and as a result, it's um, breaking. That's just the best answer I can give generically, not knowing, you know, in, on an individual basis, not knowing your hair or what you've been doing to it. So, that's that. Um, also, next. <clears throat> I've been, uh, someone sent me a question, uh, regarding my protective styles video. I'll insert, insert the number of the video somewhere. Um, in the video I said there were three requirements, uh, to protective styles, which was low manipulation, the hairstyle lasts you a long time, and three, to have your ends tucked, um, or, yeah to protect your ends or have your ends tucked. Now, a lot of people with shorter hair, um, they don't have much uh, options when it comes to styling your hair as far as protecting your ends. Um, so this person asked me if, it w uh, if afros were considered a protective style. And no, afros are not considered protective styles. So afros are overrated. And I say that because afros, they tend to dry out a lot easier then if your hair was in another style, like say box braids or twists, I don't do box braids, but if your hair was in twists, you'll find that your hair retains moisture a lot better in twists than it does in the afro. Your hair dries out a lot easier when it's in the afro. Um, your hair is like completely exposed and that just um, promotes tangles or what have you. Um, so yeah, of course, those of you with TWAs, you can't really do anything besides an afro. Um, but I would not worry about protective styling if your hair is shorter. Simply because a lot of people don't know this, but by definition, shorter hair is stronger than longer hair. Uh, why is that? Because shorter hair, the ends of your hair strands are closer to your scalp. And thereby, it's easier for the benefits for, that your scalp produces to reach the ends of your hair. Um, such as, for example... Uh, sebum, which is the natural oil that our body, our scalp produces for our hair. The sebum is able to travel down the hair shaft to the ends of your hair, thereby lubricating it, moisturizing it, sealing it, etc., etc. Um, when your hair is longer, 
this becomes a lot harder for your hair to do because, not your hair, but your scalp to uh, do this because your hair is a lot further away and it's a lot harder for the oil to see them to travel through all these coils and curls and waves and tangles and, and things like that. So it's a lot harder for it to reach the ends of your hair and therefore the ends of your hair tend to be a lot weaker than the roots of your hair when your hair is longer, relatively longer. Um, also when your hair is shorter it's a lot less prone to uh, tangles because knots and tangles because when your hair is longer I mean it's so easy for it to get entangled within itself you know it's simply because it's longer when your hair is shorter I'm sorry you don't have to moisturize it as much as you would as if it was longer if you pay attention during your hair journey when you start off with shorter hair you notice that your hair retains moisture a lot better when it was shorter than if it was longer um, that's the reason why. Uh, simply because the ends of your hair, when it's longer, they tend to dry out a lot more and they are weaker, prone to tangles and breakage and things of that sort. So those of you with TWAs trying to grow your hair out, I would not worry about that as much. Um, whatever protective style that you are able to do with or without protecting your ends, tucking your ends, I would not stress too much about that simply because um, your hair is stronger than longer hair anyway. Alright you guys, so this goes into the next thing that I want to touch on involving teeny weeny afros, which is mm, uh, rocking the teeny weeny afro. A lot of people when they have shorter natural hair, they tend to want to pick out their hair uh, to give it fullness and shape. Now, I've come to learn that there is a right way and a wrong way to use this hair utensil, the hair pick, okay? When your hair, well actually, whether your hair is shorter or longer, this works. You don't want to take the pick and rip the pick through all of your hair, from the roots to the tips. You don't want to do that because this is going to rip your hair out, it's going to like tear your ends apart, okay? Don't do that, especially when your hair is shorter. I know it's tempting because your hair is shorter and you could just pick out your hair. Don't do that. It's, it's going to lead to a lot of breakage. What you can do is pick at the roots. You see how I have my pick at the roots and lift like that. Okay? Not going all the way through the hair strands, but just picking at the root and just stretching at the root. Um, you can do that to shape your afro, your teeny weeny afro, whatever, uh, since you can't do protective styles. Um, that way, you're not going to have breakage, you're not going to be ripping your hair out of your scalp, and you can still have a shaped afro. So yeah, that's just one quick tip that I can offer people. I've noticed a lot of people that I've encountered and talked to, they were doing that and they weren't experiencing a lot of hair growth. They were experiencing a bunch of breakage and that's why. Um, for those of you with longer natural hair, you know that we tend to experience a lot of tangles and knots, okay? And to minimize split ends, you when you encounter a knot, like Let's say, for example, these two pieces were entangled right here for some reason. Okay, a lot of us, and I was guilty of this also, we tend to want to just pull the knot apart and just break off the knot or break the knot off the ends. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. The best thing to do when you have knots and you cannot get them out or they're just so bad that you can't pick them out, the best thing to do is just clip the knots off with hair shears okay you don't want to use scissors I explain why you don't want to use scissors in my trimming tutorial video um, you want to use hair shears because they're going to give your hair a clean cut through the hair shaft and that is going to eliminate any possibility of split ends now why don't you want to just break off the knot because when you just rip the knot apart um, that's going to basically tear your, the ends of your hair in a jagged, ununiform way. And that is what leads to split ends. That's, that's what leads to split ends and thinning hair at the ends, etc. Um, so you definitely don't want to do that. Uh, just a couple few random tips. 
hope that was helpful. Hope, you know, some of you guys found this video helpful. I know a lot of you were all like, duh, we already know this, but a lot of people don't. You would be surprised. So, um, yeah, uh, that is it, you guys. I will see you all very soon in the next video. Till then, you guys, stay blessed. Love you guys. See you later.